All right, today's drill is going to be, we're going to paint a couple airplanes. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do a coat on my Thunderbolt first, and then I'll switch to the other airplane. <clears throat> what I done was, is I sanded all, sanded it all down till you could just start to see through it, and then <clears throat> where I sanded it too light, I, I just kind of dusted some primer over the top of that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to get a paper towel. And I'm going to show you, doing it this way, how much paint it actually takes to do this. It's unbelievably very little. So, you want to get all the uh, overspray dust, dirt. I didn't get any tack rags. If you have a tack rag you should probably use it. I'm not going to worry too much about the cowl because the cowl gets painted white right here so we can do the checkerboards because I'm going to do a paint job very similar to my last one that I lost. I, I really like that airplane so we're going to try to replace it with something very close. This airplane is about, I think about five months old. You have to go back and see when I first started doing the wing on this. And I'm just going to do, you know, a light coat and then let it set and then we'll come back for a second coat. I normally do the bottom first but I thought I would do the top first so I could show you this drill. Um, while doing the bottom I won't be able to show you because I've got a... <coughs> do it in a different locale. <laughs> We're going to be doing a lot of taping on this airplane. So we want to make sure we have a good chemical bond. That means lots of thinner. Thin coats. I don't want this thing to pick up much weight, so I'm going to paint it with an airbrush. Unless I have a problem with the wings, which I don't think I will. Not the way that I normally do it anyway. Okay. Been wiped a couple times now. We'll see how it goes. So the first thing I want to do, I want to get a mixing cup. The only reason why I need a mixing cup is I'm going to add some thinner to uh, the dope, and there's no room in the can, so. But we take the silver, or the gray that we mixed yesterday, shake it real good. Now I'm going to, I'm going to show you this painting until the compressor comes on. Then I'm going to have to stop painting and edit the film because we certainly can't do this with a compressor running. 
Matter of fact, I think I ought to turn it off. Okay, I've turned the compressor off, and now when I lose pressure, I'll have to stop. And so we're going to add add this to the uh, to the cup here. I've added about 50% in that half pint can. Remember I said yesterday it was uh, it was already thin, but we're going to thin it again. So it's actually going to be, after I thin it again, it'll be 75% thinner. And you say, well, 75% thinner, shit, that's a lot. Well, it is, but that more or less guarantees you that the tape is not going to pull the paint up. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very thin. You can tell how thick the paint is. I don't have a, a, a viscosity tool to measure the centipoids, but you can you can tell how thick the paint is by how quick it runs off the stick. And the more you practice that, So here we have two fluid ounces in this cup. And because the airplane is gray and it's very similar to the color that I'm going to be painting, it will take so little paint, <laughs> it will blow you away. So let's put one coat on the fuselage. As you can see, it don't take much. <laughs> I haven't used any.
painted today. The uh, paint is going a little flat. I don't have any retarder, so we just have to go with what we got. And this will be fine for the first coat. So it took about half of two ounces, it took about an ounce to do one side of the fuselage. So we're not going to use a whole lot of paint. Turn it around and do the other side. you can see how good this covers or not. two ounces. We're up to four ounces now. So it'll probably take this whole little pint here to do one coat on the whole airplane. You know, it just it takes what it takes, but uh, I can tell you that this is the lightest <laughs> the lightest color that it, that it can be. Just dusting the wings now. I just I just want to get one coat of paint on the whole thing. I don't. Uh, I'm not trying to make it shine or anything. I'm just trying to get it all even. I got the 
yeah, one window open on one side of the room and the box fan running in the other window so it's sucking the, the fumes out of the dust or whatever. It's not a spray booth, but... Breathe through your nose. <laughs> Supposed to be wearing a filter, but a mask, but I don't have one. I'll have some good boogers. Okay. I'll do the outboard side. And like I say, this is just the first coat. We'll come back. I gotta do the bottom side too. I should have done the bottom first, but I decided I'd do this top. <clears throat> I see there are a few little spots that needed need some sanding yet we'll get them sanded out before I do the next coat It'll take about seven ounces for the top and about seven ounces for the bottom per coat. I don't know what that'll gas off to in physical weight, but this is, like I say, this is about as light as you're going to get for a finish. This color and doing it this way. This is the exact same way I did my other Thunderbolt. We might have to break out the other gun because it looks like I'm, I got some splotches in the wing. You know, it, it doesn't, the pattern is not wide enough. But that's all right. Probably do that on the second boat. Compressor's running out of air. build back up. I'll probably do the bottom off camera and uh, I think I'm going to mix up uh, or set up my other gun and, and uh, do the wings with the other gun because it's not putting enough paint on to get a nice even coat. It's kind of splotchy. So I didn't turn the overhead cam on because I'm basically done. What's happened here is it's taken two of these uh, it's, take, it's taken a half a pint to paint this airplane. I filled this up twice halfway so that's a quarter of a pint and then filled it with thinner and then poured it in the cup so it's taken a half a pint of paint 240 milliliters to paint this airplane and that's all the color it's going to get. Now I have a little bit left here and there's a little bit of uh, touch up to do 
and there's a couple spots that I probably will sand out and doctor up where they're just not perfect and that's pretty typical in any paint job it's uh you know you're, you're just not gonna it's not a car you're just not gonna get it perfect the first time so you just don't worry about it and uh, go back and fix the uh, the few little spots that you may or may not have I still have to finish the uh, wheel doors but that's alright we're not too much worried about that I think what I'm going to do from this position right here is I'm going to glue the flaps and the elevators on it and I'm going to go fly it and see how it flies because we're looking at putting on about two more ounces of clear um, we're we're up in the I'm, I'm up as heavy as Bill's Thunderbolt is and you know 66 67 ounces but that's with the 10 ounce battery on board but you can't fly it without the battery, so it's just the way it goes. In order for this thing to be in Billy's category, it would have to be 46 ounces before you put the battery in it. And that ain't going to happen. It's just too much lumber. So, what I think I'll do is I'll uh, let this dry. We're going to set this aside and we're going to start painting the gypsy later on. I don't think I'll post that. I'm just going to paint it. I, I do have enough paint to paint it the same color. Because, like I said, I, out of this quart that I mixed up, I only used, you know, that much. There's hardly any gone out of here. here it's uh, down to about right here so that's how much paint we use to paint the uh, paint the airplane I did have to break out the big gun I, I wanted to paint it with the airbrush but it just oh I see that I still have some and you left in the airbrush. It just takes too long to do, so in a couple of passes with my HVLP gun that I got from Harbor Freight, which is actually a very good gun. I mean, it, I got it for $9.95 or something like that. It was supposed to be you know, $19.95, but I didn't know. So it's a good, it's a good gun. It really puts out a nice pattern. I wish I had another one. Anyway, it looks pretty good. We'll let it set and uh, I'll go over it and I'll mark all the spots that are bad, sand and, and touch those up. But I'm going to be uh, setting this aside and painting the other airplane. So I'm going to edit this up, get it posted online. I'll work on the other airplane. And uh, what next time we come back, we'll be putting some detail on this one and possibly the other one too, depending. So, until I see you again, fair winds, tight lines. See ya!